The Rhode Island Division of Motor Vehicles is also trying to mitigate potential exposure. It's closing the part-time branch in Warren for the foreseeable future, partly because it's located in Town Hall. And limits are being put into place at the main DMV branch in Cranston. I would assume reporter Courtney Carter joins us now live in the newsroom with the details. Well, if you think your typical wait inside the DMV is long, the Cranston office now says that wait will start outside due to coronavirus concerns. Cranston resident George Simmons was one of the first in line Friday morning at the DMV. I got here about 845 and there was a line going around and up the sidewalk there. And Simmons says he was one of the many that waited over two hours to even get inside the building. I've never seen a line like this in my life. I stood in the rain, and even though it wasn't that cold this morning, being an older gentleman, I was feeling the cold by the time I finally got into the building, which was around 11 o'clock this morning. Department spokesman Paul Grimaldi said as of Wednesday, officials were allowing only groups between 10 to 30 people inside the building at one time, trying to abide by the latest coronavirus regulations made by the state on limiting large groups of people. Yes, we want to keep everybody safe and we want our employees to be safe. Also adding to that weight, March is one of the busiest months at the state's DMV centers. If you can do it online, you should do it online. And while some were a little frustrated. I believe it's blown way out of proportion. I know it's hurting the economy. Grimaldi says surprisingly, most people have been pretty understanding. People are actually happy that we're doing this sort of customer flow monitoring, that uh, while they may not be happy standing in the rain today, they understand what's happening. Now, they also say anyone feeling sick and has a scheduled road test, you can reschedule that appointment at no charge. In the newsroom, I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.